Welcome back, y'all, to the most wildest hoods in the Bronx before 2010. Now I'm bringing out a Stevenson Commons. To be honest, it was a different time when that Blockbuster and Conway was there. You remember when that Blockbuster and Conway was there? Anyway, right across the street, you had Stevenson High School, and these niggas was wild. You was really liable to get jumped with your mother and your parents coming out of fun zone. Now I'm bringing out a Long Wind Avenue. Right in front of me, like if I was over here, there's a precinct right there. Them niggas never gave a fuck, to be honest. They would go right to Spotford, right across the bridge, and come right back out, do the same shit. I want to bring y'all niggas to Cortona Pool. You may be like, nah, this is a pool. Nah, this is a fucking hood. This is a danger zone, to be real with you. No funny shit. All the hoods used to gather here because it was hot in the summertime. And one time, I seen a nigga dunk the wrong bitch. This nigga left, came back for the second session. The second session started at 4 o'clock. Why the whole block was chasing? It was mad niggas chasing this nigga. That's all I got to say. It's been long overdue. But welcome back, y'all, to the most wildest hoods in the Bronx before 2010. 225th Street, this was a dangerous zone getting off the train. Especially with them blood niggas that was always outside. And this was kind of like a little Compton, the whole White Plains. Because once you get robbed, them niggas is hopping behind niggas' backyards. Now you fucking stuck. Oh, we got to take the train a couple stops back. We're going to another hood. We have Pelham Parkway houses. Just five stops away from where we just came from, uptown. But this, even though it was seven floors each building, them niggas would leave you in that back staircase. And then you got Christopher Columbus. You know them niggas was really wild. They was running reckless. You remember PPG? If you was outside, you remember them niggas. Now I'm bringing out a Prospect Avenue in 167. Littleville, aka Hustle Ave. Them niggas was about their bread, and it was still your bitch, so you had to be careful walking over there. If nobody gonna speak on it, I am. This is one of the most legendary parks in the Bronx. Basil Behagen Park, also known as 23 Park. This shit has so much shit that was hell hit. Shootouts, basketball games, and dance battles. No funny shit. If you wasn't outside, then you don't know what this park is. No funny shit. And one was here shooting videos with Chuck D and main event. Fast food club used to hold dance battles and all that. And niggas that was beefing in forest, they used to come through and shoot at the ops during basketball games. Come on, you know. <laughs> if you was outside, then you know. Real shit. And this game, like, this this park is so legendary because, like, everybody used to come here. Everybody and their mother used to come here. Real shit. And if you wasn't outside when Hype Girl had that, that fight during the dance battle, you wasn't outside. I can't respect it. No funny. I don't even think you was outside. You don't even know what outside looked like. No funny. Nah, I've been practicing all week. Yo, what's good? This is Sky High and this is Facts About the Bronx. You probably know about that shit. You're probably wondering where we got our name from. Well, this is the founder of the Bronx. Jonas Bronx. And look at his face. Come on, y'all. Nigga looking like... That's exactly how you know you can't lie to a Bronxite. And let me break it down for you. Bronxite, that means dead ass. Stop playing with me. I'm from the X. I don't play that shit. Fuck you talking about. What's up? I y'all niggas just Hip hop originated in the Bronx. So honestly, it's my pleasure to just introduce y'all to Clive Campbell. The guy who threw the first... Hip hop party in the Bronx. DJ Cool Hurt. Oh, yeah, salsa originated in the Bronx, too. Yo, what's good? This is Sky High, and this is facts about the Bronx you probably ain't know about. Maybe you ain't know, but the Bronx connects to City Island, Hearts Island, and Rikers Island. Be careful going to visit over there. Yo, where you from, bitch? From the Bronx, pussy. Man, fuck the Bronx. What's up? Did you guys know during the 1920s prohibition, when they thought you drinking liquor, you will give your kids diseases and stuff like that? The Bronx was booming. We was hustlers. Get your alcohol here. Get your alcohol here. Take one. I'll take one. Here's your nickel. Yo, what's this? This is rubbing alcohol, bro. Where's the Casamigos? Nah, we don't have to get it now. What goes up must come down. The quality of life declined drastically from 1960s to 1980s. It became instant slums in the Bronx. I'm guessing that's where we get our tough hearts from, because we made the best of it. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. <laughs> What's up, this is Sky High, and this is Facts About the Bronx you probably didn't know about. <laughs> Woo, have I got a juicy one for y'all. 
The Lincoln Memorial was actually carved and designed in the Bronx by architecture by the name of Henry Bacon. Come to think about it, New Yorkers do love bacon, egg, and cheese, feel me? And the Bronx is really built different. When I say that, what I mean is the Bronx is the only mainland. Every other borough is an island connected to a body of water. Not us. Help, help, I can't swim. You shitting me? Me either. We not both about to die. <laughs> Bitch got me fucked up. Hello. This is Mr. Sky High. <laughs> and this is facts about the Bronx you probably didn't know about. In honor of Black History Month, I would like to show you guys some celebrities you may have or may have not known were born in the Bronx. Jennifer Lopez, Fat Joe, Swiss Beats, Cardi B, Kerry Washington, Tracy Morgan, Christopher Reed, Slick Rick, KRS-One, Lord Finesse, Cool Herc, and Africa Bamba. You know what other dance originated in the Bronx? You guessed it, break dancing. Did you know that the Bronx is home to over 70 train stations that hold lines for the one, two, four, five, six, B, and D train? Two dollar swipe, two dollar swipe, I got your two dollar swipe. <laughs> Yo, chill, I got this. I'm from the Bronx. Give me that gun. Yo, what's up? This is Sky High, and this is facts about the Bronx you probably ain't know about. Oh my God, it's gonna blow! So today, I'm gonna be putting you guys on to some Bronx historic sites. Welcome to the Belmont section of the Bronx, Arthur Avenue, AKA Little Italy. It's known for its Italian culture, and it dates back to 1792 because of this guy. His name, Pierre Lorillard. This right here is a fact within the fact. The first New York tobacco company opened, P. Lorillard & Co., was opened in the Bronx. Yo, let me get a Dutch and 50 Lucy's. Shout out to you, P. Lorillard. Yo, give me a fucking Dutch and 50 Lucy's. The New York Botanical Garden opened in 1891. The tallest tree in the Botanical Garden is 155 feet. I'm fucked up, I ain't 